Hello and welcome to Ballistic Advantage. My name is Clint Hansen. I'd like to thank you guys ahead of time for tuning into our LPK series. We've done a series of videos already, so today we're actually going to be getting into the buffer tube assembly, and it consists of the detent spring as well as the rear takedown pin. So let's go ahead over checklist of parts and make sure we have everything. Now on to the rear takedown pin and the buffer retaining pin and spring. However, we are going to need the buffer tube, castle nut, and latch plate for this. Those last three items are not included in an LPK. However, you do need them to achieve the end of this uh, install. So, here we go. Now we're moving on to the buffer tube install and the rear takedown pin. Again, we are doing them at the same time because they kind of go hand in hand together. So, the first thing I'm going to actually do is I'm going to take my rear takedown pin and stick it in. So it's spinning freely now, but I want it there so I can get my detent in there and everything's kind of going to kind of happen at once. Now that my pin's in, I'm taking my detent, my detent spring, and I'm going to put a little pressure in there and then you can kind of find where you need to be and you'll feel it click in. So you'll pop that out and you put a little pressure on the spring. Now you know where you need to be. Go ahead and leave that there for now. Next thing I'm going to install is my buffer uh, retaining pin or detent and spring. So I'm just going to drop the spring in this hole and drop the detent. Simple enough. Push down, make sure it's going to function. There's no burrs on the inside. Okay. Now, now we're going to start threading in our buffer tube. We're going to apply a little, apply a little breakthrough oil on it. You're going to want to thread on your, your castle nut first. And these notches, which you're going to tighten, and they're going to be in the back here. And we get all the way to the back, so you need that room. Then you're going to take your latch plate. Now your latch plate has two sides, but there's kind of an innie and an outie. The outie is going to go in this corresponding hole in the back of the lower and kind of pin all that in, okay? So we're going to slide that in that way. And there's a little tab and a notch on the bottom, okay? So now that we're in, we're going to go ahead and get it started and spin it a couple times. Pretty soon you're going to see we're going to engage that spring. It's going to kind of fold over, and I'll show you another trick here in a second. Kind of eyeball it. Notice when you get close to this detent. And we are getting close now. And now I can't rotate anymore. So now I'm going to take my finger and I'm going to push that detent down and go until upright. Now we're sitting Now the buffer tube is actually sitting on top of that detent, holding it, stopping it from going any further. And now our spring is kind of bunched up here. So I want to get that popped out. But now I've got kind of a problem here, so I need to put that in. I can either use a razor blade or my fingernail. And that worked out good there. And just flatten it out. Now while I'm still holding the latch plate in place so it doesn't come out, I'm going to hand tighten the castle nut. Okay, now that's tight. We're good to go. Everything's installed. All right, now we want to tighten your buffer tube. So you want to eyeball it, make sure it's straight. It's not going to move much. Everything's held in place. I kind of like to get a hold of it as well as tighten it. Now you don't got to be a Hulk and, and go too hard, but you do want to snug it up. All right, I'm snugged up and it looks pretty straight. Um, one more extra thing you can do. It's not necessary. I like to do it. Keeps it more secure. Uh, you got these little notches here in your castle nut, and there's a way of staking the latch plate so that metal, there's like a little dimple made, forced into that slot, keeping your castle nut from wanting to go one way or the other. So I'll take a pointy little punch. Not quite center of that castle nut in that slot, but not on the edge either. I don't want to fold over. And then I'm just going to give it a whack. So now I've hammered a hole kind of in the latch plate, forcing that metal into that slot, keeping it in place. And now your buffer tube's installed. Okay, our buffer tube's in. Most all the other parts are in the lower. All we have left now is the grip as well as the safety selector. So stay tuned next time. We're going to cover all that. Thank you. Yeah,